going to do problem number two. So number two says to find each value of x of which f of x equals x squared plus natural log of x squared has an inflection point. So we are given the function, this number two, f of x equals x squared plus ln of x squared. And we are asked to find the inflection point. So when I find an inflection point, I have to find the second derivative. So we need y double prime. Okay? So y prime would be the derivative of this. So that's 2x plus, and then this is going to be 1 over x squared, and then times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x. And when we simplify that, y prime is 2x, my x cancels with one of these x's, plus 2 over x. So that's the first derivative, but I need the second derivative. I'm right over here, so y double prime, the derivative of 2x is 2, and then this is the same as 2x plus 2x to the negative 1. So I can bring down my exponent, so I have minus 2x, and then I subtract 1, so I have to the negative 2. So now that I have my second derivative, I set it equal to 0 to find the inflection points. So I set this equal to 0. So I have 2 equals 2x to the negative 2, which is, we can take off the 2's from both sides. So I have 1 equals 1 over x squared, so I can multiply the x squared up, so this goes up there, so I have x squared equals 1, and then x equals plus and minus the square root of 1, so that means that x equals plus or minus 1. But you want to make sure that you check your answer on a number line, so we have a number line, and we have negative 1 and 1. And inflection points are when they change signs. So that means the concavity change. So when we plug in a number less than negative 1 into this function, I'm going to get, we can plug in negative 2. So I'll have um, 2 minus 2 over negative 2 would be 4. So I have 2 minus 1 half. So that's going to be positive. When I plug in a number here, I'm going to get negative, and here I will get positive. So your answer is x equals plus or minus 1, which is answer D. I write it over here. So your answer is D, which is x equals plus or minus 1 only. So just to review, you have a function, you need the inflection point, which means you need the second derivative. So first we found the first derivative, and then you find the second derivative. You set it equal to zero to find the critical values, and then you plug them onto a number line to make sure that the concavity changed, because if the concavity didn't change, then it would not be an inflection point, and then you have your answer. So this is number two.